And this time we headed over to Africa to check out some mind blowing discoveries that scare scientists. Let's check them out. When we think of Africa, we often picture its stunning landscapes, diverse wildlife, and rich cultural tapestry. However, this vast continent is also a treasure trove of mysteries that has left even experts scratching their heads. From mysterious giant footprints to unexplained ruins, here are 20 unsettling discoveries in Africa nobody can explain. Number 20. Giant Footprints Now, one of the most intriguing and perhaps mysterious enigmas on the African continent is none other than the giant footprints that were allegedly left behind by real human giants a long time ago. These footprints are located near the Swaziland border, and they're precisely what their name suggests. Enormous imprints on granite rocks, closely resembling a human foot. However, unlike an average human's footprint, these marks measure about four feet in length, and so, these prints suggest a figure whose size would be utterly astonishing by human standards. Now, while many believe these footprints reveal the presence of giants in the past, some view these footprints as parts of folklore and myths, suggesting that these are remnants of giant beings or ancestral spirits once roaming the land. Others look for scientific explanations, exploring geological phenomena or attributing them to prehistoric creatures. What's more mysterious is the age of these prints. Preliminary studies have suggested that the surrounding granite formations could be over 200 million years old. If the footprints are as ancient as the rocks they're imprinted upon, it challenges many conventional understandings of the timeline of life on Earth. The Mpumalanga footprints have not just caught the attention of historians and scientists. This mystery has also drawn in tourists, enthusiasts, and those with a keen interest in the unexplained. No, like much has changed though. So I guess it's good to know that mu not much has changed in 200 million years. As far as a foot goes, it still looks the same. However, while they remain a popular site of intrigue, they're also a reminder of the delicate balance between exploration and preservation. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now. Number 19, the mysterious ruin in Kenya. Hidden amidst the dense coastal forests of Kenya lies an archaeological attraction that has intrigued historians and archaeologists, the ruins of Getty, although often pronounced Geta. Now what's fascinating about Getty is not just its well-preserved structures, but the mysteries that surround it. Here's a city that clearly had wealth and influence, but oddly enough, there are hardly any historical records about it. Who lived in Getty? What did they do? And why did such a bustling place get abandoned? Throughout the years, Archaeologists have found intriguing artifacts in the ruins, pieces of Chinese porcelain, Venetian glass, and more. These finds hint at Getty being a central trade hub, connecting Africa to distant lands. However, many questions remain. But perhaps, the one thing many want to be answered is why this seemingly perfect place was abandoned. For now, there are many theories. Some think it could have been due to local wars. Others believe maybe water sources dried up and some even speculate about invasions. Whatever the reason, Getty's sudden decline is a riddle we're still trying to solve. Today, Getty is not just a hotspot for historians and archaeologists. It's a popular destination for travelers. As a recognized Kenyan national park and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, its mystery continues to intrigue many worldwide. Number 18. The World's First Astronomical Site In the vast expanse of Egypt's Sahara Desert, far from the iconic pyramids and temples, lies an ancient site that has puzzled scholars for decades, Nabta Playa. About 490 miles south of modern-day Cairo, this site might seem like just another patch of desert at first glance. But dig a little deeper, and you'll notice the mystery behind this site. Nabta Playa dates back more than 6,000 years, making it one of the earliest known archaeological sites in Africa. The site consists of stone circles, tombs, and even a calendar circle that predates Stonehenge by over a thousand years. That's right, a calendar system in the middle of the desert, way before such systems were widely used. It was something that was way beyond its time. What was the purpose of Nabda Playa? Why build such elaborate stone structures in such a remote and inhospitable location? While some believe it was a ceremonial site for pastoral nomadic communities, others theorize it was an early astronomical observatory. The alignments of the stones with certain celestial bodies suggest that the people of Nabta Playa had advanced knowledge of the stars and their movements. But how and why did they acquire this knowledge? And what significance did it hold for them? Moreover, the very existence of such a site challenges our understanding of ancient African civilizations. 
Napta Playa suggests that complex societies existed much earlier than previously thought. Agreed. The level of organization required to construct such intricate structures suggests a sophisticated society, perhaps even one with leadership structures and religious practices. Number 17. See, maybe that was their way of con uh, communicating with extraterrestrials. We don't know. Dwarf Cryptid. Deep in the cultural lore of Southern Africa, especially among the Zulu, Osha, and Sotho communities, there's a tale of a mischievous and often malevolent creature known as the Tokoloshi. The Tokoloshi is believed to be a water spirit, often described as a dwarf-like entity. Its appearance varies depending on the tale, but common depictions describe it in a humanoid form with animalistic features. Some say it has the ability to become invisible by swallowing a pebble, only revealing itself to children and those with a spiritual insight to see it. Likewise, there's a wide array of stories and tales surrounding Tokoloshi's deeds. On one hand, it's portrayed as a playful trickster, causing minor inconveniences and mishaps. On the other, darker tales painted as a more sinister being summoned by those practicing witchcraft to cause harm or even death to their enemies. The Tokoloshi's power is said to be so feared that some locals would raise their beds off the ground to keep the creature from reaching them as they slept. The origins of the Tokoloshi myths are shrouded in mystery. Some believe these stories were a way for communities to explain unexpected misfortunes or tragedies. Others see it as a cautionary tale, a reminder of the unknown dangers lurking in the world. Think of it as something similar to scary folklore that the older generations told and retold so many times to keep their children in check. However, in contemporary times, the Tokoloshi still holds cultural significance. It's often referenced in popular culture, films, books, and songs drawing inspiration from this legendary creature. Although many believe in their existence, the Tokoloshi is still considered a myth for now. Number 16. White Lady. Amidst the sun-scorched terrains of Namibia's Brandberg Mountain, there lies an ancient puzzle etched onto stone, the White Lady. This enigmatic rock painting, hidden within the Brandberg Massif's vast expanse, is a captivating mystery in prehistoric African art. The figure, portrayed in a distinctive white hue, gives an impression of movement, perhaps a dance or a spirit, with a bow and arrow in hand. Around this central depiction, there's a bustling scene of animals, like antelopes and other human forms, some seemingly partaking in a communal event or ritual. What's more is that despite its moniker, White Lady, there's debate over whether the central figure is even female. While initial interpretations lean feminine due to certain delicate features, subsequent studies have suggested it might be a young male, possibly in a position of ritualistic significance. Debates don't just stop at gender. The very essence, origin, and intention behind the painting have been subjects of countless discussions. While some believe it represents a local ceremonial scene, others, noting the figure's Mediterranean-esque features and the unique bow, wonder if it hints at distant interactions maybe even with European societies. Its age is also a mystery, with estimates varying widely from a few thousand years to even older. Number 15. The Lake That Turns Animals Into Stone Tucked away in the Tanzania's northern region, Lake Natron is no ordinary body of water. This salty and alkaline lake, set against a backdrop of the majestic Rift Valley and the old Doinyo Lengai volcano, possesses a unique and somewhat eerie quality. What sets Lake Natron apart is its incredibly high alkalinity, a result of the sodium carbonate and other minerals that flow into the lake from the surrounding hills. This makes the water's pH level soar, sometimes reaching up to 10.5, almost as alkaline as ammonia. Now here's where it gets both fascinating and a tad macabre. Birds and other creatures that come into contact with the lake's waters may find themselves in peril. The combination of the lake's alkalinity and the hot temperatures which can reach up to 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit, means that animals that die in or around the water often get calcified, giving them a stone-like appearance. Over time, these petrified remains can be found washed ashore, perfectly preserved in a ghostly calcified state. This phenomenon has been beautifully and hauntingly captured by photographers, drawing attention from around the world. Number 14. Baobab Trees Sprouting from the African savanna's heart, the baobab tree is a symbol of resilience and longevity. Often dubbed the tree of life, the baobab stands tall and proud. Its tall stature instantly recognizable with a bulbous trunk and spindly branches that look curiously like roots reaching for the sky. Baobabs I was thinking about this the other day, and this is a 
perfect, perfect example of how trees live so long. And then you think about people talking about, you know, plant-based diets and different things like that to kind of prolong life, keep you healthier and different things like that. And when you see some of these trees and how long they have been in existence, you start to kind of lean a little bit towards it. Not saying that I can completely go vegan or nothing like that, but or to say it has any weight to what I'm saying. But it does make me think about it when you see some of these trees that have been around for probably millions of years, if if not. Like, this is this is interesting, you know? Maybe shorter than mine. It might not be millions of years, but I don't know. How, how long has the oldest tree been around? They're not just unique in appearance. Their lifespan is also remarkable. These giants can live for thousands of years. Some okay. are I was wrong. Thousands of years. But still, still and all, that's worth looking into or thinking about. I don't know, man. I done started juicing. Y'all might want to start, you know what I mean? Eating a little bit more greens nowadays. Less meat. Believed to be over 6,000 years old, making them among the oldest living things on the planet. The Baobab's massive trunk plays a crucial role in its survival. During the wet season, it stores vast amounts of water, allowing the tree to endure and thrive in the harshest dry seasons. This adaptation has earned it another nickname, the Upside Down Tree, as its trunk resembles a vast water tank and its branches seem like a tangled root system turned skyward. But the Baobab isn't just a hardy being, it's a giver of life. Its fruit, known as monkey bread, is rich in vitamin C, calcium, and antioxidants. Indigenous See? communities have utilized every part of the tree for centuries, from the bark, which is used for cloth and rope, to the seeds, which can be ground into nutritious flour. Baobabs also play a significant See? role in local ecosystems, offering shade and sustenance to a myriad of creatures. What's more, the cultural significance of baobabs runs deep across Africa, where they're often at the center of legends and folklore. Many communities regard them as sacred gathering places, or even as dwellings for spirits. Unfortunately, due to human activity, these trees are at risk of disappearing. Number 13. The Fairy Circles Scattered across the reddish sands are thousands of barren patches, perfectly circular and eerily uniform in size, known as fairy circles. These naturally occurring formations interrupt the otherwise continuous stretches of grass, creating a vast polka dot landscape that can even be observed from the sky. The origin of these fairy circles in the arid grasslands of Namibia's Namib Desert has baffled scientists, locals, and visitors for decades. How do these mysterious formations, ranging from 6 to 49 feet in diameter, exist? Local legends offer some captivating, albeit pretty outlandish, explanations. One tale suggests that these circles are the footprints of gods left behind as they walk the earth. Another folklore tale attributes them to underground dragons, whose poisonous breath kills the vegetation above. While these stories add a layer of mystique, scientific explanations have been varied and evolving. One prevailing theory posits that the fairy circles result from the underground competition for resources. As plants vie for water in this arid environment, those with the best root systems might outcompete their neighbors, leading to barren patches. Another theory suggests that termites are the culprits, creating the circles as they munch through the vegetation and organize their underground colonies. Yet, neither theory fully solves the mystery, as both have challenges and contradictions. Some circles seem too large to be the work of termites, while others are too uniform to solely attribute to plant competition. What's more is that recently, similar fairy circles appeared in parts of Australia's arid landscape, suggesting a more widespread and possibly interconnected phenomena. Any theories? Share them in the comments down below. Number 12. The Weirdest Looking Stadium Nestled in Mafeking, the capital city of South Africa's northwest province stands an architectural structure that often leaves first-time visitors scratching their heads. The Imabathu Stadium. At a casual glance, you might wonder if its architects were playing a 3D game of Tetris when they designed it, rather than the conventional fully enclosed design seen in most stadiums around the world. Mabatho Stadium presents a jigsaw puzzle of sorts. It's almost as if sections of the stands were randomly plucked out, leaving a series of disconnected seating areas. This patchy, disjointed design gives the stadium a unique, fragmented appearance that stands in stark contrast to the continuous, uniform seating arrangements most people associate with sports arenas. But there's actually a method to the madness. The stadium's peculiar design serves a purpose. The gaps between seating areas provide critical airflow, a design feature crucial for comfort in the region's hot climate. 
By allowing breezes to flow through, the design ensures that spectators can enjoy events in relative comfort, even during sweltering days. With a seating capacity of over 59,000, the Mabatho Stadium has hosted a variety of events, from soccer matches to political rallies. While it may not be universally hailed as an architectural masterpiece, its unorthodox design certainly makes it memorable. Definitely. Number 11. I would not be wanting to sit way at the top. Let me go back. See? See the stuff up here, bro? Like, <laughs> no thank you, man. That just, ah, uh, no, no, it just don't sit right with me, man. I don't think I'd enjoy myself being way up there, number one. And I always thought to myself, and I always said to myself, why sit way up there when you could just be at home and the TV have you closer than anybody? Either I'm going to sit in this area here, maybe over here somewhere, or be at home. No in between. To political rallies. While it may not be universally hailed as an architectural masterpiece, its unorthodox design certainly makes it memorable. Number 11. Nandi Bear Often described as Africa's equivalent to Bigfoot or the Yeti, the Nandi Bear is a mystery creature. According to several accounts, the Nandi Bear is a ferocious nocturnal beast characterized by its powerful build, shaggy brown or reddish fur, and a distinctly bear-like appearance. Yet, what sets it apart and adds an element of the bizarre are its reported cloven hooves, and sometimes a hyena-like mane. Its name derives from the Nandi people, among whom stories of this creature are particularly prevalent. Over the years, numerous travelers and settlers have claimed to have spotted the elusive creature. From blurry footprints to fleeting shadows in the moonlight, the evidence, though tantalizing, has always been circumstantial. No concrete proof like clear photographs or physical specimens has ever been presented. Skeptics believe that the Nandi bear might be a misidentification of known animals, such as hyenas, or perhaps even a surviving population of prehistoric creatures. However, some argue it could be a species yet unknown to science, lurking in the unexplored regions of the African wilderness. Number 10. Akodasewa Voodoo Supermarket If you ever find yourself in the streets of Lom, the capital of Togo in West Africa, you just might find yourself in a market that's selling the most outlandish things, from animal skulls and bones to dried herbs and bizarre talismans. This is the largest voodoo market in the world, a place where spirituality and belief meet commerce and ancient traditions. This place might be strange for outsiders, but for the locals, it's a perfectly ordinary market. Here, healers and voodoo priests, known as voodans, meet and share knowledge. In this place, they prescribe remedies, conduct ceremonies, and provide insight into the mystical world of voodoo. While voodoo is often misunderstood and misrepresented in popular culture, the Akodasewa market offers an authentic glimpse into its rich traditions and practices. And once you get to know voodoo, you'll see it's far from the malevolent and malicious practice it's often portrayed as in pop culture. Number 9. Mm. Helicopter Hieroglyphics Tucked away within the ancient temple of Seti I in Abydos, Egypt, is a set of hieroglyphics that wow. have stirred up a considerable amount of modern intrigue. At first glance, these inscriptions appear to depict familiar modern-day machines, including what looks like a helicopter, a submarine, and even possibly a jet plane, due to their uncanny resemblance to these modern vehicles. They've been colloquially dubbed the helicopter hieroglyphs. These hieroglyphs are over 3,000 years old, and they've remained a mystery for a long time. Some enthusiasts argue that these symbols are evidence of ancient Egyptians possessing advanced technological knowledge or having encountered extraterrestrial beings. While most I wonder how they're keeping these preserved, though. Like, you can see it's open to the outside. There's nothing like covering it up. There's no dome over top of it or anything like that. But they're still in pretty decent condition, and I'm wondering how they're doing that. Believe that these helicopter-like figures are nothing but a coincidence. Some believe that they reveal the connection between ancient Egyptians and extraterrestrials a long time ago. Is it really? Because you keep seeing the spaceships and different things. Look at the drawings up top. That looks like a spaceship to me. Just an uncanny coincidence? Or does it tell us something many have long suspected? Number 8. Mm -hmm. Africa's Stonehenge. Tucked away in northwest Kenya, near the shores of Lake Turkana, lies Nomura Tunga, an ancient megalithic site often dubbed Africa's Stonehenge. Comprising 19 basalt pillars, it holds a special place in archaeological and astronomical debates. Dating back to around 300 BC, these stones have a curious alignment, 
one that doesn't just seem coincidental. Research suggests that the pillars line up with certain constellations in the sky, namely the seven stars of Burana, the cluster that the Burana people of Ethiopia and Kenya used to establish a lunar calendar. However, the real purpose of this formation remains unknown. Number 7. Nubian Pyramids While the pyramids of Egypt have long captivated the world's imagination, further south along the Nile, the ancient kingdom of Kush in present-day Sudan erected its own magnificent pyramids, known as the Nubian Pyramids. Built between 2600 and 300 BC, the Nubian Pyramids differ in design and purpose from those in Egypt. The Nubian Pyramids are steeper and narrower, often with a small chamber at their base. This unique design choice reflects Nubian aesthetics and a deliberate departure from Egyptian architectural norms. However, the most intriguing aspect of these pyramids is their alignment. Recent studies suggest that the Nubians, like other ancient civilizations, were avid astronomers. Some pyramids are aligned with certain stars, showcasing the Nubians' understanding of the cosmos. And so, to this day, each of these pyramids holds its own mystery. Number 6. The Leidenberg Heads Nestled in the region of Mpumalanga in South Africa, the town of Leidenberg has become renowned not just for its scenic beauty, but for a set of mysterious artifacts, the Leidenberg Heads. Discovered in the 1950s, these are among the earliest known examples of African sculpture in Southern Africa. Dating back to around 500 AD, the Leidenberg Heads are a series of seven clay masks, each varying in design and detail. They depict human faces, and some even have intricate patterns and what appear to be scarifications. The purpose of these masks remains unknown. Number 5. Ghost Ship of the Namib Desert Amid the vast expanse of the Namib Desert, where endless sand dunes meet the Atlantic coast, lies a sight you'd hardly expect, the rusted remains of a ship stranded miles from the shoreline. This is the Edward Bolin, a ship that met its fate in 1909 and now rests as an eerie sight. The Edward Bolin was once a proud vessel, cruising the waters between Germany and South Africa. But on one fateful day, while en route to Table Bay, she ran aground in thick fog near Conception Bay. The crew were uninjured and were rescued, but the ship was lost to the shifting sands of the Namib Desert. Over star, seen a lot more of this. Look at the other videos we've checked out where they've abandoned ships that they've taken out of commission and just left them in the water. And now all these trees and different wildlife and all kind of stuff is maybe not wildlife, but different trees and different things have grown on top of it. And they just leave it out in the water and it essentially becomes a museum of such. You're going to start seeing them turn into this as the water starts either going down in that area and stuff like that. It's going to look just like this. Watch. For time, the desert's ever-moving sands engulf the ship, leaving it marooned miles inland. The shipwreck has since become a popular attraction, drawing mm -hmm. photographers and adventurers eager to witness this ghostly spectacle. The sight of this once mighty ship, now defeated by time and sand, is both haunting and fascinating. Number 4. The Bird of Saqqara in the vast landscape of Egypt's artifacts, the Saqqara bird holds a unique place. Discovered in 1898 in the Pada Iman tomb in Saqqara, an ancient burial ground, this small wooden object has ruffled quite a few feathers in both the archaeological and scientific communities. At first glance, the Saqqara bird, measuring around 7 inches in length with a wingspan of 7.1 inches, appears to be a simple representation of a bird. Crafted from sycamore wood, it sports wings, a tail, and a carved eye. However, what makes it stand out is its aerodynamic design and the absence of discernible feet or legs. These features have led some to believe it might represent a glider or an aircraft. The debate centers around the object's purpose and design. Was it a mere toy or decorative object inspired by a bird? Or does it hint at the ancient Egyptians' understanding of aerodynamics, suggesting they toyed with the concept of flight? In 2023, Researchers from the Institute of Aerospace Technology Bremen used a 3D scan to conduct a computational fluid dynamics simulation to test that theory. The simulation revealed that the artifact had a low glide ratio, making it unsuitable for use as a hand glider. Additionally, the uneven lift distribution caused uncontrolled rolling, leading to curved flight paths. The findings cast doubt on the notion that the Saqqara bird represented ancient knowledge of aerodynamics. Number 3. Grootslang Hidden within the dense jungles and vast caverns of South Africa's folklore is a creature of immense power and mystery, the Groot Slang. Its name translates to Big Snake in Afrikaans, but don't let the simple moniker fool you. 
Tales of the Grootslang paint a picture of a creature far more formidable than your average serpent. Legend describes the Grootslang as a colossal beast, the fusion of elephant and snake. Imagine the massive, robust body of an- It looks like it's mixed with way more than just elephant and snakes to me, bro. That got some other stuff in it. An elephant, combined with the elongated serpentine form of a python. This creature is said to have enormous glimmering eyes that can what? hypnotize its prey, drawing them closer before it strikes. So how did such a creature come into existence? According to local myth, the gods, in the early days of creating animals, made an error with the Groot slang. They imbued it with immense think? strength, intellect, and cunning. Realizing their mistake, they attempted to split it into two distinct creatures, leading to the creation of elephants and snakes. However, a Groot slang evaded the gods and escaped, propagating its kind and leading to the legends we hear today. The most infamous dwelling of the Groot slang is said to be the Wonder Hole, or bottomless pit in the Richtersveld of South Africa. This vast cave, riddled with diamonds, is believed to be the Groot slang's lair, where it hoards its treasures and drags its victims. While skeptics view the Groot slang as merely a legend, a product of fireside stories and regional lore, sightings and tales of close encounters persist. Some believe the stories might be rooted in ancient observations of real creatures, perhaps massive snakes or dinosaurs, which got embellished over generations. Number two. Don't worry. You ain't never got to worry about me finding out, bro. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. The Mapimi Silent Zone. Tucked away in the vast Chihuahuan Desert in northern Mexico is an area shrouded in legend and mystery. The Mapimi Silent Zone. Spanning a roughly 30-mile radius, this desert patch has gained notoriety and the title La Zona del Silencio due to an array of peculiar phenomena reported within its confines. So what makes this desert so special? You see, compasses reportedly go haywire, radios fizzle out, and electronic devices often malfunction in this place. This naturally led to theories. Is it a magnetic anomaly? An alien hotspot? A portal to another dimension? The zone's mystique began in earnest in 1970 when a U.S. military rocket, designed for a test launch, veered off course and crashed into the area. The official explanation attributed the crash to human error, but it fueled wider speculations. Was the rocket drawn off course by some unknown force lurking in the desert? Tales of inexplicable lights, floating orbs, and even UFO sightings have only added to the silent zone's reputation. Local ranchers and visitors often share stories of encounters with strange beings or unidentified aircraft. But it's not just extraterrestrial enthusiasts who are drawn to the zone. Biologists also frequent the area due to its unique flora and fauna. On a more down-to-earth note, some researchers believe the reported electronic disturbances might be due to the high amounts of magnetite and meteorite fragments in the area. What? Yet, definitive scientific evidence explaining all the zone's oddities remains elusive. Beyond the mysteries, the silent zone is also a place of beauty and cultural richness. Local guides, proud of their region's lore, often relay legends passed down through generations. Some speak of ancient civilizations that once called the desert home, while others recount tales of protective spirits watching over the land. And now it's time for today's topic. This discovery in Africa scares scientists. There have been rumors and speculations that a newly discovered creature was found in Africa and everyone on the continent who knows about it is keeping it under wraps. For the longest time, we've seen Africa as the cradle of humanity, and it's a land filled with diverse wildlife. For this reason, many believe that we haven't discovered everything there nope. is about this rich continent. The dinosaur-like creature is believed to be formally considered a cryptid, similar to the Mokip- It's more scary than anything, the fact that there's still several unknowns out there that we know nothing about, bro. Nothing. Creatures wildlife, whatever. Still a lot of unknowns to this planet, man. William Bembe that allegedly resides in the wilderness of Africa. It's described by the locals as a long extinct sauropod that somehow survives to this day. Well, there are still a lot of undiscovered species in Africa, and the possibility of such a creature being alive both scares and fascinates researchers today. Number one, ruins of Loropeni. Nestled in the southwestern part of the country, this massive fortress, crafted from reddish laterite stones, spans an impressive 119,802 square feet. It resembles other historic stone circles around the world. However, this archaeological location is mysterious. Now, what makes these ruins mysterious revolves around their origins and abandonment. Despite their grandeur, 
The exact purpose of these ruins and their community that once thrived within its walls remain subjects of speculation. Theories suggest it could have been a vital center for the Trans-Saharan gold trade. Yes, you heard it right, gold. Historically, West Africa was buzzing with gold trading activity, and the ruins of Laura Penny might just hold secrets to those golden days. However, why exactly were these ruins abandoned? While some historians theorize that shifting trade routes made Laura Penny less significant, others hypothesize that environmental changes or conflicts might have driven its inhabitants away. To this day, the real purpose and reason for the abandonment of these ruins remains unknown. These mysterious discoveries aren't the only ones in Africa. In years to come, this continent will undoubtedly reveal more of its secrets.